Hey guys, Dagger Dad. So when you have a uh, four-year-old daughter, you should know who these people are and what this is. It's my uh, my daughter's favorite movie. There it is. She got her little snow globe, and she loves it. So there it is. <laughs> So, um, at first I wasn't going to make this video, and uh, the reason why is because I've been going through this uh, box of 500 here and haven't got nada, not a single anything. And I've uh, just gone through and gone through and gone through and gone through, and, uh, you know, I, I just... Uh, frustrating when it, when that happens and, and maybe it's because I'm a little spoiled because I had a pretty good run there in the beginning uh, when I first started out and had a lot of hits I mean I was able to pick up about 17 or so uh, silvers and maybe three or four proofs and so I had um, had some pretty good luck and then suddenly I hit this dry spell and I realized of course well I'm getting boxes that other coin roll hunters have already gone through so I thought that was uh, kind of interesting how that happened. So I'm making my way through, and like I said, a little discouraged, but um, but getting there. And uh, and then I finally hit pay dirt. And not only did I get one, but I got two. You can see them right there. If they look close enough. There they are. Yeah. So I wanted to go ahead and do a reveal for you. Let's take a look here. I got one and a friend right next to each other. Isn't that funny how they end up together like that? So let's see what these are. The rest of these are all just clad, 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 clad. But what do we have? Let's look and see here. Let's put them where we can actually look at them. There's one. Okay, let's see what we got. There's the first one, and there's the second one right there. Let's take a look, see what we got here. Hey, look at that, a 90%er. That's a great find. A 68, not too shabby. So, uh, not as all lost. Coin's not in bad shape. Love that. So it's funny because even though I'm going through um, roles that other hunters have gone through, um, and I know I've been through, like I said, about 500, but there's two more to add to the stack. And one's a 90 percenter. Pretty happy about that. All right, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through the rest of these. Not many left, so this may be it. I also, I, <laughs> I know a lot of guys do quarters and dimes and everything, so I went ahead and, and got me a hand roll of quarters, you know, just to look through them and, and see. But I imagine I'm probably going to have to go through a lot in order to find any silver in those. And then I may try doing some dimes or something. Don't know yet. Um, I'm still pretty knocked out by the, the halves. And you know, want to build up a pretty decent sized stack with the halves before I move on to something else. So uh, we'll do the rest of them here, and if we get anything else, then um, well, I'll get back to you. I'm back. So got down to the very, very last roll, and wouldn't you know, there was a little treat waiting for me. Right. There. Yeah. Let's fish it out and find out what it is together. I haven't looked at it yet. As soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, let me let me go ahead and do this. So I, I was really I tell you, man, this is what a process this is. You go through all these coins. I mean look at all these coins, and that's not even like a quarter of the coins that I've been through. And all for this one, I don't know, it's, it's, it's cool. I, uh, I explained it to the cashier the other day, 
because she was like, how do you go through all those rolls? And I'm, I'm like, well, it's sort of like, you know, Christmas and that you get to open up a little present. Uh, you know, and, and every once in a while, the present has something kind of special. Like this one here. That's pretty special. It's a 40 percenter, but 68 is the year of my birth, so it holds a kind of a special significance for me. I mean, I do enjoy it. Um, there's a little bit of pleasure that I get from it, you know, just uh, looking at it and the search and the hunt and all that stuff. But, um... Yeah, there it is. So, this is my last batch of box, whatever you want to call it, of 500. We got two 68s and a 64. I'm very, very happy. I was a little bummed out, but, you know, I was figuring, well, I had to run into this at some point. You know, I had to, things had to slow down for me because they were, it was like I was, every roll I was, it seemed like I was finding something, whether it was a, you know, if it wasn't silver, it was like a special coin, or it was um, something odd. Like I found an Obama coin once. I didn't keep it, but it was just like there was always some little uh, surprise or something waiting for me. And then it just went to nothing. And what I did find was is I found a bunch of these. I hate this. People paint the half dollars, or they put lipstick on Mr. Kennedy. Oh, don't you look so good with lipstick on? Come on. And they mark it up, mark it up, mark it up. That one looks like it was buried for a while. It was bad, bad shape. Anyhow, so, yeah. That was my exploits for today. And in a minute here, I'm going to pull something out. I got a couple of new things in the mail, and I think I told you about them earlier, and I promised you that I would show them to you. So I am going to do that. Uh, just give me a second. I'll pull them out and we'll take a look at them, okay? So I promised you that I would uh, show you what I got in the mail. I've been expecting this one for a little while. It took a little bit longer than I thought. Um, this is a 1991 Silver Eagle. One ounce gold round. Or I'm sorry, silver round. There it is beautiful coin. It's in great, great shape. I've already plastic uh, put it in the plastic case to protect it, uh, but just got that today. I was so happy to get this because this is a 91. I mean, who wouldn't want this one? Uh, and then on the back, um, yeah, there it is. One ounce fine silver, one dollar. And I check all of my, um, I have a uh, these little rare earth magnets that I use to check all my silver with and uh, uh, I do buy most of my stuff on eBay because I like to buy individual pieces and I have very specific rules for when I do that like I um, unless I just get a really good deal uh, I won't pay shipping so I'll, they have to offer free shipping and it has to be out of state for me so that I don't have to pay tax and by doing it that way um, I can usually get it for under premium then uh, and the tax that you have to pay than if I would have went to, say, a coin shop. Um, in order for me to get free, here in California, the rule is $1,500 to go tax-free on bullion purchases. So, you know, I'm not willing to wait and save up $1,500 to get my next purchase. I mean, I, I have a little plan where I save a little money here and there, and then I put it into my silver but and my gold, but... Um, I think that the the system that I've I've worked out works good for me. I've heard other commentators uh, say that eBay is not the best way to do it, but uh, cost wise for me, I I I'm I'm patient, so I wait for uh, the prices to be right for when for when I want to buy, um, and it's been working out pretty good. I usually don't pay more than over five. Uh, five dollars of spot in other words five dollars over spot although I did um, put in an order at the US mint uh, for the new um, uh, silver proof for the baseball hall of fame that won't be shipping out until June but I guarantee you when it gets here I'll be uh, I'll be sharing it with you uh, there's a back order on it for like six months or so and they're only going to print like 400 thousand of them so I figured I might 
want to grab one before they stop printing them. Uh, I've already seen some of those things going on eBay, and the the price is ridiculous. People are paying three hundred dollars for them, you know, first press, and I'm like, wow, you know, I mean, I paid fifty one dollars from the mint from for it, so. You know, it's a good investment, I think. Anyhow, um, those were just released. If you want to go to the U.S. Mint website, they're advertising it. Uh, they have a gold. Uh, they have a silver proof. And I think they have a clad. Uh, and they have a f silver. So, um, I mean, it's 90% it's silver. Even the proof is 90% silver. It's not 100% silver. Uh, but that's what they have. And I, and I think it's going to be a piece of... Uh, um, the numismatic value of that piece will last for a while. So that's the first thing that I saw when I reached into my mailbox. And then, to my um, joyful surprise, this was right next to it. So from a different seller. I love these little things. I have to tell you, I, it's so smart. Um, I guess this is Pamp's idea of the uh, competing with the Valcambric bar, which is um, uh, it's a multi-gram uh, bar that you can break into little pieces. But what Pamp has done is instead of making the actual gold breakable, they've made the the uh, uh, the I guess the uh, what is that plastic or or cardboard uh, housing breakable and these are each one gram pieces um, it's really hard for me to good get a good focus on it because my lighting is off there we go oh that looks good that's perfect so yeah she's a beauty um, I buy I buy my gold by the gram not by the ounce I buy my silver by the ounce and my gold by the gram. Um, and you, if you've watched any of my earlier videos, uh, really the thing is, um, I, I kind of follow uh, Mike Maloney's example of of buying uh, like 80-20. So 80% silver, 20% gold. Um, so this, this gram kind of helps me uh, fulfill that that eighty twenty, uh, and and I think this is the plan I'm going to stick to for a while. So there it is. There's the uh, the gold I got, and that came in today. And then there's my ninety one uh, silver that I got, the um, silver eagle. Um, just a gorgeous. It's really good condition too. I love that. Um, look at that. It's beautiful. Wow. And then my very special treat today was finding these three bad boys. So all in all, a pretty good day. I was a little, like I said, I was a little disappointed because uh, I went through, you know, 500 of these and, and no luck at all. And then bam, on the last like two or three rolls, I, I hit the jackpot. So good day of coin roll hunting and good day for stacking. And this Sunday is going to be a good day for hiking. We're going to do a breknik. That's a picnic breakfast up at Eaton Canyon near the waterfall with my wife and my daughter. And uh, and I will, I promise you, I will, um, uh, I'll make some kind of a video so that you guys can uh, share in the beauty of Eaton Canyon. Okay, until next time, uh, have fun, like and subscribe, and Keep stacking.